University of the Incarnate Word to move forward. Uh, today at a meeting with the Board of Trustees, that vote came through to begin the process of transition to the NCA Division I. Uh, there is a timeline involved that would put us in a situation where we would culminate in playing a 2017-18 season of uh, first year competition for postseason availability for us in the, in the process and the timeline. Okay. Um, we would look to announce uh, at the, this spring in the January timeframe our intent, correct me if I'm wrong, to begin the process to move in that direction. Okay. At this time, I'm, I'll address and turn it over to Dr. Nisi to address any questions and the, the process that we're envisioning. As Mark has stated already, um, this has been an uh, involved process that involved uh, the student body at the university, first of all. Um, started actually in August when I met with the student athletes as a total group and the coaching staff. And uh, it was the first time that we uh, talked about the uh, movement, the continued movement of UIW athletics. Um, from that time frame, uh, we had uh, a student uh, process that took place uh, before Thanksgiving. Uh, the results have already been reported of that talking to them about the movement to Division I. From there, uh, we have a commission here at the university called the University Planning Commission. Uh, that commission is made up of about 55 people, uh, vice presidents, deans, directors, uh, faculty that are elected to be on the commission, as well as committee chairs from the faculty and student representation. Uh, that group met uh, this past, uh, not this past, oh yeah, uh, last Friday. Uh, there was a uh, affirmative vote there by that group, uh, by a large majority, uh, to move forward. It then went to the executive, to my executive committee, uh, which is the executive committee of the UPC, of the University Planning Council. Uh, that group met with me this past week, Wednesday, and also voted uh, affirmatively to uh, move forward uh, on uh, Division One status. Uh, today, uh, the Board of Trustees meeting this morning, there was a presentation made by Dr. Jerenovich uh, to the uh, subcommittee of the board, and then uh, Dr. Jerenovich made the same presentation to the full board, um, and a vote was taken by the board uh, to uh, move forward. What that means, very simply, is that uh, we will continue to participate in the Lone Star Conference uh, this coming year, the 2012-2013 year, fulfilling our requirements uh, uh, with uh, the Lone Star Conference. Uh, in January of this year, uh, Mark Pappage has been instructed, uh, along with Dr. Jerenovich, to make formal application uh, to the Southland Conference Hopefully, uh, they will have uh, time to act at their February meeting of the Southland Conference. Uh, it is our intention to, be to begin participation upon invitation from Southland uh, in the 2013-2014 uh, year. Uh, that would start the process. Uh, it's a four-year process uh, where you participate for two years. Uh, you're not actually counted as a full participant until year three. Uh, year, two, year two is the second year you get in. Year two? Yes. Um, and then we would count for, uh, as far as in competition, uh, for the other teams that play us. And then, as Mark announced, in the 2017-18 year, we would be eligible for postseason competition as a Division I sport. We have, presently have 19 sports for uh, men and women. And so uh, Southland uh, does not have uh, that same full competition. Uh, same full level, uh, but uh, as we've done in other sports, uh, we will continue to participate in other conferences uh, so that all of our athletes are able to participate at that level. Uh, it's a large financial uh, uh, statement on the part of the board, uh, the same kinds of uh, stretches that we've made before. We've announced new schools, whether in pharmacy or optometry, and the new school of physical therapy that will open uh, this August uh, out at our new location on Tetzel Road. 
we will continue to enhance the facilities here at the university, as well as we'll collaborate with uh, other entities in the city uh, where necessary to uh, be able to expand uh, our uh, competition level uh, to other arenas that are of the size that would be necessary in Division I uh, competition. So uh, that is where things stand at this point. Um, again, there are a lot of ifs. Uh, the biggest if uh, is uh, whether or not uh, we uh, will be accepted as a full-fledged member of the uh, South Bend Conference for the 2013-14 year. I think it would be in everyone's interest for that to happen uh, since the Southland Conference, as an example, lost uh, this marketplace, the San Antonio market, when, you, uh, when UTSA and Texas State uh, decided to uh, move to the WAC the conference. And so that would bring uh, San Antonio back uh, uh, as a market uh, into the Southland Conference. Uh, and so I think that's positive for everyone.